Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good morning to all my students. So in this video, okay, we are going to continue our discussion of chapter 9, differentiation. In, let me call with a subtopic of implicit differentiation. So what's it, what's it all about this? <coughs> okay, implicit differentiation. So let's take a look at the definition here. <coughs> okay, so, okay. At the end of the lesson, we are able to solve the first and second derivative implicitly. So, uh, what's the meaning of all this? Implicitly. So, examples that are given to you a function of 2x squared plus y squared minus y equal to 4 or this one here where y is not given explicitly as a function of fx. Meaning, most of the time, we look at a function of y equal to x squared minus 2x or y equal to 3x cubed minus e to the power of x where we can divide what we call uh, on left side of this sign of equal we can write down as a signal of y and then on the other side of this equal sign is a function with all the term of x. There is no y left here. But for this case, 2x squared plus y squared minus y equal to 4. We cannot form this in the form of y equal to fx. No, because we got y squared and y minus y. So how are we going to form this in the form of y equal to fx? Most probably, no, we cannot. Okay, so this is implicit function and because of that we differentiate this recall the name is the differentiation of implicit function where we differentiate of implicit function of uh, y here okay the implicit function of this for example here so to find dy dx differentiate each term with respect to the x we apply the chain rule to differentiate a function of y with respect to the x Okay, <clears throat> so in this case, because we are going to dif not just differentiate the, uh, the we call the unknown of x with respect to the x, but we also differentiate y with respect to the x. There's some addition here. Okay, for this uh, subtopic, we can look at the example one by one. <clears throat> okay, for this one here now, uh, differentiate of y with respect to the x, and of course, you come up with dy dx and what about this one here now okay we derive the function of 3y squared just like we derive the 3x squared so just imagine that this y is an x so if we derive 3y squared you come up with 6y but then because we derive this respect to the x then we come up with the term of dy dx Okay, and what about this one here now? Derive e power of y is just like we derive e to the power of x, which is e to the power of y. Multiply with, because we derive this respect to the x, y here, so then come up with dy dx. Okay, next one, derive log, you come up with 1 over y. And when derive y, it gives you 1. And because we derive the y with respect to the x, and we multiply it with dy dx. Next, again, okay, in this case, we divide into two parts here, just like u and v. Okay, look at this slowly. Differentiate x respect to the x. Different we call uh, u prime u prime dot v plus u dot v prime okay differentiate x respect to the x one then just copy out the y plus with just now we derived the x right so it's now time for us to write down x and this turn for y now now, now it's a turn of y now so derive y equal to 1 and because we derive y respect to the x 
then we multiply it with dy dx. Okay, now if I shade this, uh, derive x, it gives you 1 u prime v minus u v prime divided by v square. You still remember that? Okay, so x is we consider as a u and y as a v. So u prime differentiate x equal to 1, then y. Plus, then just now we dif uh, differentiate x, derive the x. So now it's time for we write down x and derive the y equal to 1. And then because we derive the y respect to the x, then come up with dy dx. And everything divided by y squared. Okay, um, I found a mistake here. So it says supposedly u prime v minus u v prime. Sorry. Okay. Supposedly that minus here. Okay, u prime v. Okay, this is our u and this is our v. So for this one here, which is a uh, u prime dot v minus u dot v prime divided by v squared. Okay, so u prime u equal to x u prime multiplied with v minus u and differentiate v. Okay, v prime here differentiate y one and dy dx divided by v squared, which is y. So then y squared here. Okay, now find the the x in the term of x and y if this given here. Okay, so then the first solution here 3x squared minus 2y squared equal to 6x minus 4y. Okay, so we derive left and right with respect to the x. So d dx of 3x squared minus 2y squared equal to, and also here differentiate respect to the x of 6x minus 4y. Okay, so we derive it one by one. Uh, differentiate 3x squared equal to 6x minus differentiate of 2y square equal to 2 times 2 equal to 4y and because we derive y respect to the x then we must come up with dy dx okay then derive 6x equal to 6 minus and derive 4y equal to derive 4y equal to 4 and because we differentiate y with respect to the x, then we come up with dy dx. Okay, so you can see here now there are difference. Uh, 6x and 6 because we derive x with respect to the x, so we don't have to write down a dy dx. But for this one here, we derive the y with respect to the x, so we derive first 2 times 2 equal to 4y, then multiply with dy dx. Okay, so then uh, we bring up, uh, we call the term with dy dx. We put them on the left side here. So negative 4 dy dx bring up here become 4 minus 4y dy dx equal to 6. And 6x bring to the side become negative minus 6x. So then dy dx equal to 6 minus 6x divided by 4 minus 4y and then uh, take out we call factorize between 6 1 minus x and then 4 1 minus y and divide by 2 each of these come up with 3 over 2 so equal to 3 over 2 times with 1 minus x 
divide by 1 minus y. Okay. So the next, <coughs> oh, the question is there. Sorry. Okay. Now, let's take a look at this one here. Okay. So then, now, first, we, the, we call differentiate the function left and right e to the power of y multiplied with the x plus 2y equal to derivative of 3e power of 2x respect to the x. Okay, so let's take a look at the first part here. The first term, e power of y multiplied with an x. Okay, and in this case, we got two functions here, e power of y and then x. So we are going to multiply, we call, uh, just like y equal to u multiplied with v, so then y prime equal to u prime dot v plus, plus u v prime. Okay. So then, differentiate first here, e power of y and it's just like differentiate e power of x equal to e to the power of x so then e to the power of y dy dx and then multiply with an x plus with e to the power of y and div derive x respect to the x equal to 1 plus with okay, derive 2y equal to 2 and then dy dx okay then equal to derive 3e of 2x respect to the x so derive 2x equal to 2 2 times 3 equal to 6e power of 2x okay now the term with dy dx we leave it on the left side and the one without that dy dx we bring to the other side so uh, we call factorize this uh, x e power of y plus 2 dy dx equal to 6 e power of 2x minus e to the power of x Okay, so look at this one here now. Uh, class, I think that I don't realize I make uh, some mistake here. Differentiate e power of y, e to the power of y, dy dx, and then multiply with an x. Okay. Uh, u prime with v, and then e power of y, then differentiate x equal to 1, e power of y, I don't realize that, sorry. Okay, so e to the power of y, and this is e to the power of y. Okay, sometimes I realize that there's a mistake then here. So e power of y, and e to the power of y. So, the x e power of y plus 2 dy dx equal to this one here now. Then dy dx equal to. 6e power of 2x minus e to the power of y divided by x e power of y plus 2. Okay. Okay, quite complex, but actually that is easy. Okay, it's quite easy if you can recall follow the step one by one. Okay, now for this one here now we come up with y square equal to okay using the logs rule log a multiplied with b equal to log a plus log b okay so for this one here come out with natural log of x plus natural log of y okay so just imagine that can we uh, write this in the form of y equal to fx y squared if we bring up ln y to the left side 
and y it become y square minus natural log of y equal to natural log of x. So how do we factorize until we get a single term of y equal to fx? Maybe not. Okay. So the best thing we can do here now is we just differentiate what we have here right now. So derive y squared equal to then also they have a respect to the x on a function of natural log of x plus natural log of y. Okay, so derive y squared to y. And because we derive y with respect to the x, then we come up with dy dx. Okay, differentiate ln x, 1 over x. And derive ln y. 1 over y and derive y equal to 1 and because we derive y with respect to the x then come up with dy dx so we bring the term with dy dx to the left side to y so what we have here is 1 over y minus 1 over y dy dx equal to 1 over x and then dy dx equal to so then we cut now 1 over x divided by 2y minus 1 over y okay so simplify this into what we call dy dx equal to uh, 1 over x multiplied with okay uh, we simplify this first it becomes uh, okay now um, oh sorry as we call show this step one by one It is 1 over x divided by, and for this one here, we simplify it as 2y squared minus 1 divided by y. So, it can now become 1 over x multiplied with y divided by 2y squared minus 1. There you go. Okay, so example 3, differentiate every single of these respect to the x. Okay, so the key is we differentiate respect to the x. So that's why if we differentiate the function of y here, then come up with dy dx. Okay, now derive sine x multiplied with cos y equal to derive 2 respect to the x. Okay, so for this one here now, this is u and this is v. So, differentiate this, it gives you u prime v plus u v prime. Okay, let's see slowly one by one first. Derive sine x. Derive sine equal to cos x. Then just copy it all again. Cos y. Plus with, just now we derive sine x. It gives you cos x. So right now we copy it all again. Sine x. And differentiate cos y. Negative sine y. Okay. And differentiate y give you 1. And because we derive y with respect to the x, then come out with uh, dy dx. Okay, so um, how can I say this? So this is our u and this is our v. So this uh, we, we simplify as an u prime dot v plus u dot v prime okay 
So differentiate of course equal to negative sine y and dy dx. That's it. Okay. And differentiate of 2 with respect to the x, a constant, equal to 0. So simplify this, cos x cos y. Negative minus sine x sine y dy dx equal to 0. So the term with dy dx will live on the left side and this will bring to the other side. So then negative sine x sine y dy dx equal to negative cos x cos y. Okay. So then dy dx equal to negative cos x cos y divided by negative sine x sine y negative divided by negative equal to positive cos x divided by sine x cos of sine cotangent x cos y divided by sine y equal to cotangent y Now, okay, this is a function, then we derive respect to the x, y sine x plus x equal to derive cos y respect to the x. Okay, so this we derive one by one, let's just take one as a u and this is a v. So differentiate this term here, differentiate y equal to 1, multiplied with dy dx, multiplied with sine x, plus with, just now we derive the y, then come up with dy dx, we just, then we copy it up with sine x, now it's time for y, and differentiate sine, it gives you cos x, okay? Plus with differentiate x equal to 1. And differentiate cos equal to negative sine y. And because we differentiate y with respect to the x, then come out with dy dx. So now, the term with dy dx, we, leave, we bring up to the left side. We put them all together on the left side. And the one with d, without dy dx, we bring up to the other side. So then, uh... Negative sine bring it here become positive. So sine x plus sine y factorize dy multiplied with dy dx equal to negative one minus y cos x. Okay, so then dy dx equal to negative 1 minus y cos x divided by sine x plus sine y. That's it. Okay. The next question here. y equal to 2 sine x. So take a ln on both sides of the equation. Okay, taking the both the ln on both sides. So come up with natural log of y equal to natural log of 2 power of sine x equal to sine x multiplied with natural log of 2. Okay. So then differentiate both sides with respect to the x. Differentiate respect to the x of natural log of y equal to differentiate of sine x multiplied with natural log of 2 okay natural log of 2 means it's a constant there is no x or y here okay so then 
differentiate this ln y equal to 1 over y. And because we differentiate y with respect to the x, then they come up with dy dx. Okay, now we take this. Uh, so, for this for this one, ln 2 is a constant. So, differentiate ln 2 multiplied with sine x. So, you come up with differentiate sine. It gives you natural log of 2. Then, differentiate sine cos x. Okay, so then dy dx equal to y multi the record plus multiplied y here and then natural log of 2 cos x okay and y y equal to 2 sine x so it's just like 2 sine x natural log of 2 cos x there you go Okay, so okay, so we have solved this question of solution of C here. So I do hope that you may try the question by yourself. And if you have a call, you can, if you have any problem with any of these questions, so please refer to your in your recall during your lecture tutorial your tutorial session. Okay, so that's all for today. So the conclusion is we uh, on this uh, this subtopic we differentiate uh, differentiate the function of implicit function uh, with the we call the derivative of g y respect to we call differentiate multiplied with d y d x. So uh, you may start your tutorial we call begin your tutorial and try yourself and good luck. That's all. Thank you very much. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and have a nice day.